guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm starting off with this video talking all about how to maintain your health whilst at university. I'm currently filming this, it's Freshers Week, so for a lot of you, you will be starting university or for a few of you, you will be returning back to university. I'm going back into my third year, so that's really exciting. But for a lot of you new freshers, you'll be meeting new friends, you'll be trying new sports, you'll be going out, you'll be clubbing, you'll be drinking, you'll be living alone for the first time, a lot of you will be, and it's going to be a really crazy adventure. I wanted to talk all about freshers flu and tips and tricks which I wish I knew when starting university. So there is no doubt during all these fun and exciting activities, you're going to be mixing with new people from all around the country, from across the world, and it is inevitable that you may start to feel a little bit ill during the first week. So let me tell you one crucial thing which you all must know, freshers flu is real. My housemates will vouch for me, they can confirm that I spent more time at doctor's appointments in my first year than I did in actual university lectures, which is shocking but very, very true. So after Freshers Week, I was horrendously ill and I wish that I had a big sister or had watched a fellow YouTuber make a video all about how to cure Freshers Flu, how to get myself better. So I hope you enjoy this video and here are a few tips and tricks which will hopefully get you back to your normal fit state. Okay, so the first thing that I want to say is that Freshers flu is inevitable, it is going to happen, it's going to get you and it's going to get you good. If you are one of those rare lucky people who don't seem to get it or didn't get it when you started the university, I would like to know your doctor, I would like to know how you managed to do that because it pretty much happens to everyone and it's going to make you feel gross and yeah, it's going to happen. Okay, so the next thing is a really big one, a really important one. I'm sure before you start university, you were encouraged to do this, but it's to sign up with a GP. We're currently in the first week, so it's Freshers' Week. You're probably going to your induction classes, and then next week you start your proper lectures. So if you haven't done already, I recommend you sign up to the nearest lo like local GP. There are loads um, if you go to the student union and ask about which ones other students go to. So definitely do that. I started university and I think I, start, I signed up to the GP on the second or third day that I was at university. And then after Freshers Week and everything, we were going on a geography field trip to Shropshire. And I had a really, really sore throat. I didn't feel great at all, but I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna go to the doctor. I'm just gonna take ibuprofen myself and it'll, it's just a sore throat, it'll get better on the trip. I was so ill on that trip. We were in Shropshire and I was so ill. I was staying in a room with some girls and I, I was keeping them up. So I moved into another room with some really, really kind girls who are now some of my closest friends ever. <laughs> um, I kept them up all night, I was coughing, I was like, you know when you cough and you can't breathe, like you can't stop, um, it was it was horrible, it was gross. And on the last day, instead of going back to my university, I called my mum and dad and they picked me up and everyone was queuing up to get onto the coach and I was just like, I just drove off with my parents. So that was very embarrassing. It was the first, it was like two weeks into uni and I was already like going home early because I just couldn't hack it. Then it was also a real like hassle back home having to like temporary sign in to my GP and say I'm back from university, I need medication. So if you are at uni and you do feel really ill, go to the GP as soon as possible because they will help you. Okay, so the third important thing is stay hydrated. And by that, I don't just mean alcohol. You're gonna be consuming lots of alcoholic beverages. If you don't drink, that's absolutely fine as well. Still keep up drinking water um, and hot teas, coffees, hot drinks, um, and just increase your fluid intake loads during Freshers Week. If you do have a night out, always make sure you have a pint of water next to your bedside table for your drunk self, so you, you down that and then you go to bed. And this one, I probably sound like your mom, but get some sleep. You're definitely gonna be going out, you're gonna be coming home at like three, four o'clock in the morning, 
which is which is totally fine and is acceptable but make sure you get some sleep even if it's naps during the day which are not really healthy few people say I survived on napping it's really good your body regenerates and it heals itself while you sleep you also just need to relax you like your muscles will start aching that's one of the symptoms of freshest flu so you do need to get as much sleep as you can and the fifth thing is try and keep warm <laughs> this is absolutely crucial everyone goes out everyone dresses up it may be a hawaiian theme party maybe a beach theme party um my personal experience um my birthday in first year we all went out to a club in town we got the bus there i was in a really thin green hawaiian dress i will insert a clip here at the end of the night it was like half three we tried to get a taxi home and we could not the shelter was full um uh, yeah, we just ended up walking home and I woke up and I had the worst cold ever imaginable. My housemate, Eleanor, um, she made me a cup of green tea in the morning. I literally couldn't function. She was just giving me like hot drinks. I wasn't a person. So try and bring a coat if possible. Um, I know people don't want to because it's not fashionable, but it's certainly if you go to university in a colder climate or up north in England, definitely just pay that £1.50. If you're already starting to have the symptoms like you've got a sore throat and a runny nose and you go out to a phone party or to a paint party in literally just a strappy vest top and a black denim skirt, you will catch a cold and make things worse. So definitely try and keep warm. And the sixth thing that I want to talk to you about is healthy eating. It's so, so important for a lot of you who are moving out and starting your new life somewhere else like first starting out, learning how to cook and everything, it will be tricky, but try and incorporate fruit and vegetables into your diet. Um, try and keep up with that five a day. A lot of you, a lot of teenagers don't really have their five a day, which is very, very, very tricky to do, but if you know how to do it, it's, it's fine. So eat a lot of fruit, eat a lot of vegetables, keep up with your vitamin C, vitamin A intake, that will just boost your immune system. So healthy eating is so, so important after a night out, although it's so easy to just go to the local chip shop and get a box of cheesy chips or pizza or garlic bread or whatever, as you can tell from experience, I, I know my takeaways after night's out. Following on from that, um, my seventh thing, thing is a little secret that I use myself that I've kept secret but now I thought let's just share it, let's help fellow freshers, um, like just I call this my secret cure and it is amazing. I'm going to be sharing with you a recipe which is Filipino as you know that I'm half Filipino and half Scottish um, this is a really nice meal. Some of you may know it as sweet corn soup. Um, in the Philippines, we call it swam maize. And it's sweet corn soup. Um, you can add, in my recipe, my mom helps me. So, a big shout out to my mum. Um, my mum puts chicken and prawns, but it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans if you just don't add the seafood and the meat. You just cut that out um, and replace that with spinach with different vegetables if you would like. Um, it's really quick and easy to cook, so for uni students, it's so straightforward. Um, it also really warms your belly, so if you are feeling like you've got a runny nose or a really sore throat, it does increase your body temperature. You do feel really warm, and you sort of can sweat out all those impurities. Um, and it's just, it's got lots of ginger, it's got lots of healthy ingredients. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and yeah, without further ado, I will show you a little clip. Okay, so starting off, my mum is taking out the inside membrane of the king prawn. Um, there's lots of dirt and stuff inside the king prawn, and we don't want that, so she's doing that very gently. And there we go. And then next, what we're doing, we're slicing the fresh corn, um, and we're just taking the small little kernels off. Then we're taking a red onion and we're taking the top and the bottom off and removing the skin. And then just simply slicing that into normal slices. Then 
Then we're taking a small clove of garlic. We're just taking three and we're popping that into a garlic crush and pressing that down with a bit of pressure. And then here are, we've got some corn and we've got some spinach. So we're just giving that a fresh little rinse. Spinach is packed with vitamin A and goodness. And this is the corn juice. We're just squeezing the rest of that liquid out and then taking some fresh ginger and removing the skin with a spoon, which I find works the easiest. And then at the start, we're just slicing that. And then slicing that even smaller into little ginger strips. And following on from that, this is optional, but we're thinly slicing some chicken breast. And then the ingredients are ginger, onions, king prawns, corn juice, spinach, sweet corn, chicken, salt and pepper, and organic coconut oil. So beginning with the frying pan on a low heat, we're just going to add some coconut oil and let that gently melt. And once that's melted, we're going to add the freshly chopped ginger and it's start to smell really good. And then adding the onions and waiting for those to sweat. Then adding the finely crushed garlic and the chicken and ensuring the chicken turns white before we add the king prawns. So then we'll add the king prawns, there'll be a bit of liquid and we'll all toss that together. So once it looks like this we'll pop the lid on and then after a while we will add the fresh corn. So we'll give that a good stir and then we will take the corn liquid and just add a tiny little bit of that and reduce. Add some salt and a bit of pepper, give it a stir and then finish with the corn broth which is literally just the corn juice and water. So we'll wait that. And if you're feeling exciting, you can add a little bit of chilli flakes and let that reduce down and cover it with the lid. And then after about 20 minutes or so, it should look something like this. You can add your fresh spinach. And voila, guys. That is the soup all done. So, yeah, there we have it. Quick and easy. And a huge thank you and shout out to my mum for making this meal for me and teaching me how to do it. Okay guys, so as you saw from the video, it was really quick and easy to make. It also tastes amazing, it's nice and warm, it, like, it warms your stomach, it's really tasty, it's got ginger, garlic, um, sweet corn, meat, prawns, it's got everything and it's just really, it's just really yummy. So I'm going to finish this, but I really hope you enjoyed watching this video um, and just, yeah, just throw yourself in, get stuck in with everything, don't worry if you get ill because it's curable, it's fixable. Um, try this soup, I do really recommend it. But if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you would like to. And leave a comment below if you are starting university this week um, and you do end up trying this recipe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, see you.